So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we are going to go through my little unconventional guide to trading options with $500. So everyone always asks and we get a lot of emails from people saying, how much money do I need to trade options? Can I trade options with $100? Can I trade options with $500? And the simple answer to this is, of course, you can do it. If you have a brokerage account and you have the ability to trade options, it can be done. Now we always suggest for full disclosure, that you start with somewhere around three to $5,000, right? The more money that you start with, the wider the opportunities you're going to have to trade more positions, diversify your portfolio, get into additional legs of, of underlyings, and it's going to be a dramatic improvement on your P&L with your ability to trade more contracts. But if you are starting with $500, here's what I suggest you do. I suggest you start trading options on stocks that are really low priced ETFs. So when I actually go into my list here at the toolbox and I vertically sort it by lowest strike price or lowest stock price, I can see that there's a couple ETFs that jump out as lower priced ETFs. Now, why do I say lower priced ETFs and not stocks? Because I think that when you're trading with $500, you want to be really careful about what you're trading and you want to get into a good framework of trading consistency and trading mechanics, and that's going to be done a lot better on underlying ETFs than it is on stocks, which could have huge moves in either direction. So ETFs are going to be a little bit more stable generally, have a little bit less volatility than stocks, and so it's going to be better as you start to get your numbers up quickly. So ones that you want to focus on are ticker symbols like USO, SLV, UNG, GDX, OIH, XLF, XOP, etc., all lower priced ETFs. And the reason you're going to focus on those is because in many cases, they offer $1 wide strikes. And in some cases, they offer half dollar wide strikes. So USO is commonly a half dollar wide strike ETF, which means that you can trade, say, the 14 call options and the 14 and a half strike call options. And so the reason that this works is because as you're starting trading with just $500, you want to trade as small of a spread with as humanly possible, because your goal is just to start to get more trades on, start to increase your trade frequency. And so although it might be tempting to trade really wide and really big positions, you actually want to start insanely small. So in the case of USO, you could at this point sell the 14 call options and buy the 14 and a half call options. And if you were to do that, you take in about a 10 cent credit. And since it's just a half dollar wide strike, your risk is about $40. So, and that's not including commissions, obviously. So you got to factor in your own commissions, but your risk is $40 and your potential profit is $10. Now, again, you're not going to quit your job on this, right? You're only trading with $500, but it really starts the process and gets the wheels in motion of how you can start trading with just 500 bucks because $40, although is probably higher than what we would typically like for your overall allocation, at 5%, it's about 8% allocation. It's about as close as you can get with, you know, 500 bucks to start trading. So that's why I say it's a, my unconventional guide because I think most people would say, you know what, go, you know, shoot for the moon, buy a bunch of options, start trading all over the place. And I see this all over the place on Facebook and YouTube and uh, Twitter right now with Robinhood. You know, a lot of people are opening up these small accounts, $200, buying some call options, trying to get lucky. A lot of people are blowing up their accounts and starting and it'll never come back. So do it the right way, trade very, very small, very tight spreads, keep your risk contained, and you should be okay and start adding more capital to your account when you get a chance. As always, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.